morning all of you yesterday we have discussed about uh, types of mechanical waves those are first one is longitudinal wave and second one is transverse wave what is longitudinal wave and what is transverse wave already we have discussed about it in before class now we are going to compare the longitudinal waves and the uh, transverse waves first of all what is meant by the longitudinal wave mean when the direction of the particles which is have vibrating particles from its mean position is uh, parallel to the direction of propagation of a wave is called as a longitudinal wave means uh, when particle of the medium a vibrate along the direction of the propagation of the wave is called as a longitudinal wave and uh, in this longitudinal wave compressions and refractions will be formed in alternatively means uh, when if the compression will form then after the compression the refraction will be formed already we have discussed about the for example spring whenever spring is vibrated then at the some place the total normal distance will be less than the actual distance after the compression the normal distance will be more than the normal compression means when the normal distance is a less than a, the other one that is called as refraction so after compression refraction will be formed in the longitudinal wave so alternatively the refractions and compressions will be formed in longitudinal waves and this waves can be formed in a solids liquids and gas all of type of matters the waves can be possible longitudinal waves can be possible and whenever the longitudinal waves are propagating in a medium when the longitudinal waves are propagating in a medium the pressure of the medium will be changes means uh, whenever the longitudinal waves are means then the longitudinal waves are through moving through the some of the medium for example if the spring spring when the longitudinal wave when the spring is vibrating then the pressure between the particles of the vibrating particles will be changes so the waves can be from solids liquids and gases as well as the pressure changes in a medium because of they will form compressions and refractions that's why the pressure will be changes in the medium when the longitudinal waves are propagating next one they indirectly represent the indirectly represent the sine wave we know that what is sine wave means uh, whenever the waves are moving in like this, this this can be called as a sine wave when it is having that the point will be started at the zero point and it will go through the maximum and the minimum distances this wave can be classified as the sine wave so indirectly because of here the wave can be move like this compressions and refractions like this compressions and refraction so that's why we can say that in the longitudinal wave they indirectly represent the sine wave and so that's why they cannot be polarized polarized means when there the light is moving or sound is moving when the waves are moving the several distances they can be polarized means they can be moving to the specified direction that is called as polarization so these longitudinal waves cannot be polarized because of they are moving in a they parallel to the direction of the wave so that's why they cannot be polarized this is about the longitudinal wave means uh, when the vibrating particles are moving in the parallel moving in the direction of the wave and uh, in this refractions and compressions will be formed and next one the waves can be formed in a uh, solids liquids and gases also and one more thing is the pressure changes when the longitudinal waves are propagating in a medium the pressure changes and as well as indirectly represents the sine wave indirectly represents the sine wave and uh, this can be polarized this is about the longitudinal wave if we come for the transverse wave transverse wave means if in this longitudinal 
vibrating waves the vibrating particles are parallel means in the direction of the wind but in transverse waves the vibrating particles are right angled the vibrating particles are right angled to the direction of the wave is called a transverse wave in this transverse wave thrusts and drops will be formed thrusts and drops will be alternatively formed alternatively formed alternatively formed thrusts and drops are alternatively formed in a drops in a transverse wave these waves can be formed in a mostly this type of transverse wave formed in a solids and a surface of the liquids why because in the surface of the liquid only the waves will be formed we can see the oceans or lakes wherever the upon wherever the water layers are moving upon surface of the part only but uh, inside the rest of water will be chased away so that's why we can say that whenever the liquids are flowing then the surface of the liquid only they will move in the transverse wave or the remaining liquid surfaces inside the liquid they will stay at the same normal stress so that's why we can say that these waves can be formed in solids and the surface of liquids only surface of liquids and uh, whenever the transverse waves are propagating in a medium there is no pressure changes there is no pressure changes only whenever the longitudinal waves whenever longitudinal waves are propagating only pressure changes in a medium but uh, transverse waves with propagating no pressure changes and uh, these waves uh, directly represents the sine wave we are not discussing about sine wave means sine wave means like this so here is the the whenever the body which are the wave is starting to is the maximum displacement of vibrating particles from its uh, mean position in positive direction it is called as the thrust and whenever the maximum displacement of uh, vibrating particles in negative direction is called a drop so that's why we can say that if this is also directly can be represented the sine wave only and one more thing is whenever the sine waves are moving like this then uh, this can be polarized this can be polarized means uh, the wave the direction is different because of it is moving perpendicular to the right angle it is perpendicular to the direction of the wave so that's why we can say that this light rays can be this waves can be transverse waves can be polarized in the direction this is about the uh, okay so now we discussed about a comparison between the longitudinal and the transverse waves now we are going to discuss about whenever the progressive wave the displacement relation of a progressive wave what is progressive wave means when a wave in which travels in a given direction with a constant amplitude with constant amplitude at a given direction given position and with respect to instant of time at any given instant of time and position the amplitude is constant so that wave is called as the progressive wave it means a wave which travels with a given direction with a constant amplitude is called a progressive wave if in case of every progressive in this case every progressive wave is a periodic wave so what is meant by the periodic wave means at any instant of time or at any instant of distance or position the particles vibrate the amplitude is constant is called as they repeat itself the same constant distances is called a periodic so here the progressive wave function represents the periodic wave with this can be related the relation the periodic traveling wave relation can be classified like this y of x comma t is equal to a sin of kx minus omega t plus pi this is the relation for the displacement here y is denoted as a displacement and with respect to position and time x means by the position t means by the time and a small a is denoted as a amplitude here the sine wave can be classified and a game is angular wave number angular wave number means the number of waves can be classified in given distance is called as angular wave number and x is the position and omega is denoted as the angular frequency 
and as well as the pi means a phase. Pi means a phase. So here that y of x comma t is equal to a sin of k x minus omega t plus pi. So the wave displacement of a pro relation of a progressive wave is represented by a x comma t is equal to a sin of k x minus omega t plus pi. Then the at any fixed instant of time time t is equal to t naught then the display, displacement relation will become uh, like y of x comma t naught is equal to a sin of k x plus constant constant means here the time t is equal to t naught is a constant some fixed time instant of time so that's why the term of omega t plus pi phase angle will be also become the constant and here is that the shape of the wave as a function of x is a sine function means uh, he will that will move into the like a sine direction next one at any fixed position x is equal to x naught in case of time t is equal to t naught the omega t will be at a constant then remaining if the position is at constant at any fixed position x is equal to x naught then y of x naught t is equal to a sin of constant minus omega t here the position remains constant and the angular frequency at time will be stays at same as this then the displacement y is sinusoidally varies with the time of t Sinusoidally varies with the time t. So that's why the function representing whenever the wave is uh, traveling in a negative x direction, then the wave function can be the displacement relation y of x comma t is equal to a sin of kx plus omega t plus pi. When the wave is uh, traveling in a negative x direction, can be represented as y of x comma t is equal to a sin of kx plus omega t plus pi. This is the relation whenever that is. When the displacement of a traveling wave is in positive x direction, then y of x comma t is equal to a sin of kx minus omega t plus pi. Then in case of negative direction, the y of x comma t is equal to a sin of k x plus omega t plus pi will be the equation for the progressive wave, the displacement relation for the progressive wave. Thank you.